that scratchy. Why? Scratchy. Fatty, you're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah, Snow White and Stupid Town. For your information, I am the white chocolate rabbit. Hey, white chocolate's not even chocolate. It doesn't even contain cocoa salads. Well, if I'm not real chocolate, then you probably wouldn't be interested in eating me. Mmm, <laughs> white chocolate. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've never seen anyone wet their pants while jumping. I hate know-it-all chocolate. Leap, Jumbo, leap! Maybe you'd do better in a turn-based RPG. Way better than Vitamin Tropolis. You are credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. <laughs> Why can't Springfield be this delicious? Please don't be full of dancing girls. All over that pool again, anyone? Well, I'm gonna lick you all over. Oh, I love them. Oh, I hope you choke on me. You disgust this cotton rabbit. Oh. If this place is a dream, I'll kill myself. doesn't find out about this place. Yep. Why so slow, Fatty? Eat too many of my relatives?
Not dreaming. Not dreaming. Not dreaming. Not what? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much to ask? Damn you, reality! Blame on! Dad, you were asleep on the couch for three days. Boy, knock me out, okay? I want to spend another night in Chocolate City. Look, Flanders, I'm not taking nobody as my personal nothing. Pathetic store nerd, one copy of Grand Theft Scratchy, please. I'm um, sorry, sir, that game is rated M. No problem, I have ID. This is a Cal Calzone Zone frequent Calzone Eater's card. There's a free Calzone in it for you. This never happened. <laughs> oh, wow, teenagers are so dumb. What? What are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh, great, now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday, and I'm totally sick of them. The Simpsons game. This is so weird. The only Simpsons game I can think of is the one where we all pretend Dad isn't an alcoholic. What could it be? Wait a sec. This is a manual for a video game set in Springfield. <gasps> and Dad is a character. And so is Mom and Lisa. Who'd want to play her? Whoa, I'm in this game. I wonder what my moves are. Jumping, floating. Oh, man, I gotta try this. This is the only good book ever written! Hey, boy, look what appeared in my magic drawer. Hey, what's with the fruity getup? If you're planning on coming home like that, don't bother. Dad, I'm a superhero now, and I have all these awesome powers! Superpowers, huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. I was gonna go shoot bats while reading swimsuit magazines in this cave. Wanna come with? Uh, maybe don't tell your mom about the cave and the swimsuit magazine. The beds are okay, though. <laughs> nice work, video game guy.
invented this place. Probably Einstein. Just thought I'd drop in. Oh, stop crying, little party. Daddy's coming and he's never gonna let... Remember, people, we came to this museum to steal, not learn. Don't look at any of the displays. Stay focused. Come on, let's get out of here and find a situation where my new superpowers could be useful. I think Lenny needs help moving. Dude's got a huge futon. Wait, maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the Dark Avenger of the night. It would be kind of embarrassing if I were thwarted by this piece of glass. Bard, it's not polite to walk on the walls. You'll get them all fingerprinty. Bard, I'm bored. Entertain me, please. I think that's too high for me to jump. Sweet. My turn! You are credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. I didn't know you spoke Greek. Hey, Bartman! You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I bet not. Okay. said God planted in the ground to fool us. Don't worry, they love fat guys and kids in jail. I heard that it's on for Ralph. Let me introduce you to my nice mate. Hey, hey! Give it up, Bart. 
I was all state hide and seek champ. You can't hide behind that flap of hair forever. with the wrong pally, boyo. Don't say things you can't take back. Bad news. You put me in a killing Ooh. kind of mood. Scum! Sleep well, sweet idiot. Welcome to Springfield Museum's History of Man. And woman. And woman. I'm like fruit in a smoothie. I totally blend in. Our first diorama depicts early man. One of the traits that sets our human forefathers apart was the emergence of the four-fingered hand we know today. I have an itch that's driving me crazy. The Middle Ages were a turbulent time, as the vestiges of the Roman Empire smoldered. Castle storming was all the rage. If you weren't storming a castle, you were worse than a loser. You guys aren't exactly the hardy boys, are you? We continue to the story of Jebediah Springfield, the noble founder of Springfield, despite facts uncovered by troublemaker Lisa Simpson proving he was actually a bloodthirsty pirate. So forget the last part of my statement, okay? Newsflash, you're a loser! Don't listen to him, me. You're awesome! Go on, get. We don't like your scan. Get off my diet gum diorama, engine! Finally. Look up here! I'm in the Orc Belt, Pingus! This is supposed to be outer space? Where are all the giant spaces? The sun is a mass of incandescent gas. <laughs> A giant nuclear furnace. Oh, oh I get so much to the guard. You offended my delicate sensibilities. You aren't even able to guard your dignity. Three quarters of the earth is covered by water. The water of life. Hey, Homer, a little help. Sweet. Mercury was named for the Roman god Mercury. A winged messenger. A space bus? <laughs> yeah. The thick clouds that cover Venus create a greenhouse effect that keeps it at a toasty 864 degrees Fahrenheit. My turn! If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 38 pounds on Mars, due to the smaller mass of the red planet. Kick ass. A belt of asteroids separates the four inner planets from the five outer planets. My belt separates my gut from my junk.
Saturn's seven rings are made of billions of ice particles, just like the heart of my ex-wife. <laughs> okay. Constant storms rage on the surface of Neptune. What do I have to screw to get a cup of coffee around here? I've been recording this stuff for hours. Yeesh! Pluto is the only planet not yet studied closely by a space probe, because it's boring. How often are you supposed to wash your hair? It's bad if you do it every day, right? Wait, I give him cup. In college, I ate another guy's barf to get into a fraternity. Stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities. We're just henchmen, man. Skinner hired us. Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I. Yeah. <clears throat> The city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Times a billion. This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner. But I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a north and a south Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. See, this manual says you have video game powers, too. It explains how you can turn into a giant ball. Uh, this book's too hard. You just tell me how. Ah, oh, no matter what I do, I can't shake this head stubble. Oh, you won't be able to hide behind this hair flap Whoa! forever. Whoa! <laughs> Rib wish! Down, you can win the eating contest at the Duff Brewery. Dodgy, it's really terrific to have this chance to talk to you about singleton vinyl siding. Eating contest, eh? When you get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing but swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year, I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. That does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! Duffman welcomes you to the Duff Ultimate Eating Challenge. I'll dedicate this gorgeon to my dearly departed mother. She choked here in a haggis eating contest. I recuperare mi dignidad. With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, start your digestive tracks. On your mark, get set. Ciao! Oh. Sayonara! Get out of lame wad. Dai mucho budu. If Duff Man had stayed in school, Duff Man would be far, far away from you. That's 
Invented by the Romans. Check out Ford, the super powered loser. Zoro, venido a salvarme. Get down, tangle with a grease Scotsman. An order of crates. Hold the attitude. What's that? I'm establishing goals and working towards the. You smell of gravy and vomit. Metallica on your asses. I have totally got the budget. Well, I so slippery for your English. The 
carnage on the eating floor is truly overwhelming. Oh, yeah. That's a spicy meat to bone! Drunken maniac coming through! This is unparalleled eating insanity. These contestants have ice water running through their stomachs! Ever seen such a beautiful sight? You had sex. You had sex. You had sex. Oh. 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 
Lady Liberty has been dealt a severe blow! Oh. Ooh, Lady Liberty is going to feel that in the morning! That was my choking hand. Still, you did great. Homer, Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion. Oh yeah. Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship Belt is last year's champion. Who will need to get that adjusted? Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny. Technique. <laughs> And now, the losers have to clean up! Oh yeah! You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, less references, more mopping. Do this. Okay.
said you have superpowers. That's amazing. How'd you get them? Manual. That manual has staggering metaphysical implications. We have to take it to the proper authorities. We could do that, but wouldn't you like to know what your powers are first? I have powers? Wow. With these abilities, I can be a force for social justice. Oh, God. Can we skip this level? Come on. It'll be fun. You can hurt a lot of bad guys. Well, if there's going to be hurting... So, we'll cut down all the forests in Springfield and turn each tree into a single luxury toothpick. Great idea, Mr. Burns. But one tiny question, won't that lead to uh, environmental disaster? If you want to make an omelet, you have to wreck a few planets. Well said, sir. Well said. Of course, if you want to see volcanoes, you gotta go to the Big Island. I blame this whole global warming on liberal media. Hey, you guys aren't sensitive at all! Ah! Way to protect the stupid trees! Animal lovers! Ah! That's how you do it! My poor leafy friends! Environmentalists, there they are! It's tree- Saving time! Ah, man. Mother Earth is ashamed of you! Ah! I never knew your passion was so violent! Stop, so I can kill you. Oh! And I... Oh! Grass lickers! Oh! You kicked the sap out of that guy! Girl power! Go for it! You're 12 pounds uh, overweight. My Party started. Let's stop these kids. Meaties. That was awesome. Trees equal. 
for money. Better it? Oh, that's real original. like a tree swallow. No, it sounds like a yellow crowned heron. Oh my god, that sounds like a chainsaw. No, it sounds like a buzzsaw. Ah! Ah! Hey Carl, why do we fight so much? Sometimes I think it's because it's all we have left. Let's rock this mother. Stay <laughs> ah! out of the forest. That's real original. Just ask me that! 
from that way, but I certainly did some lot Stop so I can kill you. You're making your leader very unhappy. With it, you don't want Christmas off? Well, all right. What is this, the 80s? It's a privilege, not a right. The plant smells great today. Two kids are heroes. Yeah, we're gonna tell everyone we were rescued by, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, Homer's kids, whose names are... Bart and Lisa! Oh, I can't believe you forgot our names. You've known us our whole lives. So? We're not thinking about you all the time, you know? Finally! Lisa, we did it! We destroyed the factory! We put 200 hard-working Americans out of a job. How are we supposed to feed our families now? Uh, you could retrain in a field with a brighter future, like daycare management or sports massage. But I've been a logger all my life. My daddy was a logger, and his daddy before that, and his daddy before that. Hey, great story. All I wanted was to destroy our delicate ecosystem. And this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry, sir. You want me to have some goons rough up Al Gore? I'd like that. Legislative branch comes through again. Uh, Mom, keep reading. Hmm. Quimby's cozying up to that sleazy video game producer. That really burns my beehive. I must hasten home to play my new carjacking game. <gasps> Give me your ride, jerk. Matt, ah! <laughs> are you hurt? <laughs> Nothing a smile and some medical attention can't fix. Hmm, that video game's gonna turn every kid in town into stabby Sam's and drive-by Betty's. Mom, I know how you could get that game banned. How? This manual tells us how to use superpowers. You mean I can talk to whales like Aquaman? Or do whatever Hawkman does? No, Mom. You have the power to convince crowds to do whatever you want. Just like Oprah. Okay, let's stop that video game. I get to have people do what I want, and it's not even Mother's Day. After the death march, everyone's invited to Casa Flanderini for tea and muffins. My horoscope said be suspicious of mobs. Show it who's boss. Scalpo. I diddly ho. And you smash. Get myself work. Oh, dear. <laughs> I know we're a bloodthirsty mob, but do we have to smell like one? You adults just don't get it. Where's the sky now? Break it! Take that! Ah! I can't believe our children hate us for our freedom. Together we fight! in this round up since the gap started running ads with dancing. Since the gap started running ads with dancing. My 
my turn. I'll tell you the truth about back here, but uh, for now I just have to say good day. Credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. Over there, we gotta hide. 
Hey, Eddie, grab the video camera. Maybe we can sell this to the news. Seymour, I suppose I can give you a few minutes. Uh, some of us have Pilates in the morning. Hurry it up, I got TV to watch, gas to take. Huh? Whoa! 
do it at you. faster than a mojito on hump day. gets involved in his unruly community. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, Reckett burst in the Edmund Pitt and Carroll. Yeah. Take that! Yeah. Oh. Boy, man! Incoming! So long, Crawl! Look! Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. I'll kick you in your factory! I'm taking it out on you! I'll cut your belly off! Mama the hippie! Everyone hates you! Now it's time many times before your death! Think a niche! I hope you choke on your cars! I'll drink your blood! Say my name! Shield me, Tanya! That's Womp Citizen! Now's the smelly genital! I'll teach them! This one's for Carl! Congratulations, Quimby. You made Grand Theft Scratchy Day a tremendous success. Thank you. Why don't we celebrate with some interns? Sexy interns? Well, Springfield sexy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I don't think he's coming out. We're going to have to use our secret weapon. No, Ned, not yet. I'm talking about Maggie. <laughs> My turn. Hey, hey. So, I'm ready to receive my bribe now. Oh, baby, the dollar sign doesn't lie. God, we're not soaking, we're cooking! A mob of parents? A s -s 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 senator Quimby, you specifically promised me no mobs. You said this town was full of slugs who would suck up our sexy sleaze with a smile. Consider yourself unbribed. Unable to secure a decent bribe, I have decided to flip-flop and ban sales of Grand Theft Scratchy for minors, the only people who want to play it. Mom, isn't it a little bit hypocritical that you're opposed to the violence in the Itchy and Scratchy game, but then you use violence to get your way? I'm sorry, Lisa, what? I, I just can't hear you over the roar of this appreciative crowd. That was so, so awesome. awesome! Oh, that was the greatest incredible. day of my life! 
Oh man, all my life I wanted to be a human garbage disposal, and now I want. <laughs> Don't you think you could put your new powers to better use? Like what? Eat terrorists and bar flowers? What did you do that was so great? For your information, I rallied the town to ban a very violent video game. Mom, if kids don't play Grand Theft Scratchy, they'll never learn real-world skills. Like how to sell guns or hunt for hidden packages. You should talk, Bart. I heard that you destroyed half the Natural History Museum. And that's my favorite place to find solace. And while we're on the subject of yelling at each other, your little stud with the loggers has put an army of regular Joes out of work. Way to go! Way to ruin lives! Of all the stupid, fat idiots... You wouldn't know what to do with the superpower if your name was Charles Manson. Well, well, your name, yeah, that's right, lame. Well, we're here, and it only took 300 decasols. You're the one who made us stop to visit your mother in space. Why do we always argue on spacecations? You're right. Let's kill and space up. Job. Guys, listen, we've been given special powers, and if lazily written movies have taught me anything, it's that with superpowers come super responsibilities. So, on behalf of the town, let's go kick some alien butts. If they have butts to kick. Ow! Our powers aren't strong enough! We need to stop these spaceships, and there's only one person in Springfield who's smart enough to figure out how. I drank blue juice from under the sink. Oh, let's just find Professor Frank. this candy, alien invasion or not. Whatever. It looks like he's not home. Fine. I'll break. You enter. Yeah! Huh. Uh. This place is sadder than Moe's house, and that dude is sad. Bart, check it out. I think I know where Frank has disappeared to. No, stupid, the sign! Greetings for nerds. Hop in. Coins? Hearts? Old video game characters? What is this place? It looks like some kind of factory. But what are they making? Why, they're making video games, my dear child. You see, when I traveled through my rift portal, I discovered a world beyond ours. Welcome to the Game Engine. Yeah, yeah, great. Here's the thing. Our town's being attacked by aliens and... Don't you understand, son? Your whole life up until this moment has been a mere video game. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? The thing is, our video game powers aren't strong enough. We need upgrades, and fast. Well, I've anticipated this problem, and I've done what every video game player who doesn't have time to figure out things for himself does. You cheated. Exactly. <laughs> Behold, the strategy guide. A cheat guide? I don't know, Bart. I do want to save the lives of everyone we love, but if that means I have to be dishonest... Oh, for crying out loud. All right, Frank, let me see that book. Find help! An oversized monkey and his touches are unwelcome! 
You're a credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. I don't remember, but that... The 90s were great. I'm like Spider-Man in a Batman costume. I hope I get to meet Zelda. Zelda! With all this equipment, you think games would be better. You gotta remember to steal a bunch of stuff here. Why, his paws are so simian. version of me, nicest guy in the world, misunderstood. <laughs> I used to be so fast. Land in a so long. Mark's back. Best factory needs. 
needs a muckraker. Why would a football player want to tackle someone? That is my only way of communication. I load and break. Admire my punching. You're not being very zen. <laughs> Not a pacifist like Dalsim. Namaste! I only beat you up for the greater good. Did you was really attacking us out? Buddha power! Fighting is poetry, and poetry is bad. Should have spent a little more time in the dojo. I've got levels, man. I majored in business. Sorry, you're for a million years, and for none! Spin us my talk with our fist balance. Your pixels are mine! Look, look! That's my brother! Look, I love blood, but this is a lot of blood. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42, hey! Oh boy, I hope my health bar is ready for this. Knock some polygons off of them! You know, when the British say bloody, it's an abbreviation for by her honor.
I got evil skills, yo! Your communication degree is a joke! The concept of Utopia is indistinguishable from its reality. I'm 
coming for me. Call the doctor. I'll kill him too. Maybe you should be in special teams. That's real original. is my only way of communication. It ends here.
Coming, Professor? No, no, no. My place is here. I've, uh, I've made a life for myself in this world with my lovely new bride. Finally, a woman who understands me. She is my everything. Why, <laughs> why? Oh, and she's funny, too. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> When that mysterious beam hit the dolphins, they became enraged and started attacking humans. I tried to fight back, but all I could see were snouts and blowholes. <laughs> oh, Sea Captain, I'm so sorry. Don't you dare pity me! Oh, I yelled at a little girl. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go sit in my car. Wait a second. You need to help us defeat the army of lovable fish-eating crowd-pleasers. Agreed. There'll be a hatch out in the water behind the marine park. Meet me there, and we'll beat back the scurvy dolphin invasion. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice work, video game guy. We're at the pier. I've got to get a caricature of me rollerblading.
harvest your hair for space wings. showed me junk under the boardwalk. You know, like tin cups, old lamps, junk. An aquarium? Oh no, this level is educational. So here it's King Snorky. Huh, King, how patriarchal. I authorize you to hurt animals, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's quick, you too. Girl power! <laughs> Great job, Lise! Just don't teach me anything about them. Let's see. Dolphins are starting to look pretty good. Top of the whale, Ma. Thank <laughs> you. 
he goes into the water. Power. Great time today, kids. I almost never appear this much in the series huh? of events that constitute your lives. <laughs> <laughs> they foiled our plot. We must have revenge. Revenge. Vengeance. Revenge. Payback is ours. The mini egg rolls are done. Egg rolls. Delicious. Hot. Revenge. Revenge. Egg rolls. Dipping sauce. Egg rolls. Mm. Revenge. Mm. Evening, Springfield. Kent Brockman chasing local imbecile Homer Simpson and his delinquent son Bart, who have picked a fight with an out of control donut mascot statue. Bart Simpson, are you and your father insane? Hey, lady, I'm on TV. I just said your name on TV. Don't tell Carl unless he sees this, in which case, hi, Carl, don't tell any I said your name. Anyways, gotta go. I'll have to stop him, Bart. I'm too drunk. Sweet. This Lard Lab stop is brought to you by Dave's Big Screens at Shelbyville. If you need a big screen, go to Dave's. Something so stupid, so dangerous. Bart, like my stock portfolio, has gone down. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, here comes a stomp. <laughs> Let's say my vanity. 
Trusty, more than my drinking has been my downfall. Here, 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 here. I'm Trusty the Clown. And I love you very much. Oh no! Poor Mini Crusty! <laughs> I wonder if they all come in one tiny clown car. Oh, laser me, hey! <laughs> Work, video game guy. Do I look fashas, but? <laughs> <laughs> Lard Lad is searching for Homer and Bart. He sure is persistent for a 50-year-old logo. My turn! <laughs> up his laser, he does so with solar panels implanted in his bow tie. Fascinating. Why are smoke clouds always evil? Believe in yourself, boy, even if I don't. Down goes Homer and with him the hopes of a nation. Excuse me, I had enchiladas for lunch. You wouldn't want to be in this booth right now. Okay. Whoa! I feel slightly lighter than air! Lard Lad has lost Bart and Homer, but don't relax yet. He's determined to find the father and son, and I assume to skin them alive. I need to be reformed, but... Hey, somebody they think that crusty... Oh, huh? Yeah. Check me! I'm as light as a princess! Oh, my God. 
seems to be making his way to the piers, and who can blame him? It's a wonderful place to hang out and take a break from the pressures of being a horrible monster. I'm a self-hating clown. I'm gonna stomp you, you little freaks. A good lesson for you kids. You can't fire your laser if you don't charge it up first. Jordan's book, Lard Lads, brought a bunch of robotic clowns to life. I'm sorry, I... Zarp, Zoo! I could eat these mini clowns. <laughs> straight for the prison. I say if he can tackle the problems of our troubled penal system, he's got my vote. It's a beautiful day for a laser attack. Continuous. Laser reminds me of my wife with a credit card. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm sorry, but Tom Wolf dresses like Colonel Sanders. Uh-oh, Lord Lad spotted them. I wonder if he's still angry. Collect all of me! I wish I had my clown poison. Hamburger! <laughs> This just in. Lord Lad's laser is making the food come to life. What a... ...stroke of luck for local fansos. I will personally spin it to every 50th burger. Real. This story is going to get me a local Emmy for sure.
30 deaths and monster hatches always come in threes. Try to show a little dignity in victory. Eat fist, Lord Crunch! Shad Spot, how could Lord Lad lose to that guy? Don't yell at Lord Lad when you really want to yell at me. I screwed this whole thing up. You're right, I do blame you. <laughs> Again. Dad, look, they're raiding the mall and sucking up innocent citizens. Where is mall security? You always seem to be around when you take a whiz in the fountain. Stop, stop. See? Whoa. Hey, stop your thieving. I spent all day clipping these coupons for flat screen magic picture machines. Brandine has to watch her stories in 1080 iPixels. This human has tiny pieces of paper that give him big, big savings. We must study him. Study him with anal probing? Of course with anal probing. What else would we do? Talk to him? <laughs> Thank God they're torturing that yokel. It's the perfect time to attack. I'm proud of you, son. No one will mourn you. Holy cow. Hey, that's real original. Lenny's birthday! Sweet!
Do I look fat today? Because I feel bloated. Yikes! <laughs> Kill the humanoids! Really? Ah! Must run humans! We will harvest your hair for space wings! Oh, bite me, Cyclops! Kick ass! See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya! Transport! Your weakness amuses us! Sometimes I worry the other aliens don't like me. Hey! Why can't they be funny aliens like you? Get your affairs in order! Jews are harshing my mellow! Suck it, space goblin! Small used to be good, but now there's too many aliens. <laughs> They're unpaving the parking lot! Hope you're happy, Jody Mitchell. We gotta turn off those fires! <laughs> what? You're killing it a fifth grade. <laughs> This mall used to be good, but now there's too many aliens. <laughs> Who's the weird looking creature now? No. Wrecking the mall. Where will I loiter as a teen? <laughs> They don't destroy the food court. <laughs> Me floaty. Oh, what's the safety word? <laughs> no one will mourn you. I will be your friend, so don't ask. <laughs> Humans totally rule. Check that out. Hope you like being stabbed. I just remembered. It's Lenny's birthday. They're unpaving the parking lot. Hope you're happy, Jody Mitchell. Sometimes 
I feel like I'm an alien. Game cliche. <gasps> they look like invaders to space! I knew all those quarters I spent in the 80s would come in handy. <laughs> My turn. Trouble hiding my fat folds. I'd rather just get killed, thank you. Ye fellers are slower than a drunk turtle. Help! Uh, Cletus, are you okay? I think the dun busted my stank ball. Damn those rectally obsessed savages! Damn them! Well, now you're free. You can go back to your trailer, shack, lean to, or whatever. Uh, technically it's a hovel, but I ain't going no wires. Those green fellers started a feud that won't be over till I poke something in their void holes. It's gross, but fair. I kind of thought this place would be spacier. superior to your two small eyes. Must crush you, Transport! Human ladies are fine. You fight me because you want to be me, Dark Zoo. You don't go. Hmm, freedom drive. Human... Time to slay. <laughs> I think he's dead. What? Father crying out in terror in space. No one can hear you scream. We're not in space. Well, we're in a spaceship. Not the same thing. It's pretty weird that you'd be working with the aliens. Try not to think about it too much. Just focus on what an unexpected treat it is to see me here. Besides, you won't live long enough to hear the convoluted explanation. Now, cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet Simpsons. And flights of aliens. Sing thee to thy rest. <laughs> I told you to pick up your space rake. No matter. It was foolish to send a former TV clown to do an alien's work. We will have our revenge. <laughs> 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 Sorry, my bad.
my god, it's the mothership. This must be the level boss for this part of the game. The boss! Quick, everyone look busy. Look, the hatch opens after every four laser bursts. That's the weak spot when we need to fire. Hey, Kodos, that ugly kid's right. Why are we exposing our weak spot after every four laser bursts? You're right. Why do we even need to expose our weak spot at all? Thanks for the heads up, Earth dumbass. Screw fighting one family. Why don't we just blow up the whole town? They can't stop us from doing that. Sounds good to space me. Something. These space octopuses are gonna get jiggy all over Springfield. Did I use jiggy right? Sorry, the cheat guide doesn't have any more upgrades. Wait, I know another way we can cheat. The internet. Of course, the internet. That's where I cheat for school. Cheating. Is there anything it can't do? Check it out. They have a walkthrough for a game called The Simpsons Game. Bartman, eating contest, alien invasion, slaughtering dolphins. It's describing everything we've done all day. But what does it say we have to do next? Nothing, I hope. Well, it says that we need to find... Ruben, I want to play solitaire. We're in the game engine. If our life is a video game, this is the factory where it was made. That's ridiculous. I'm not a video game character. I'm a real life person with dreams and feelings. Ah! Yeah, all right, fine, I'm a video game guy. Now, can I ask a question? If this is a video game, where do we put the quarters? <gasps> oh my God, it's a nerd. That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Dad, that's Will Wright, designer of Sim City and The Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! That's why I live here now, finding a home for old games nobody plays anymore. Video games are about what's new, and the old is better off forgotten. Any of these fellows look familiar? We look so pixely. And poorly rendered. Which one is supposed to be me? Don't destroy them. They may be obsolete, but they're still alive. Help! It's crazy! If he destroys us, we'll never escape from Krusty Island. I'm March. You can't do this! Of course I can. I'm Will Wright, bitch. And pretty soon, when there's a new, better Simpsons video game than the one you're from, I'll destroy you too. Ha 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 Stop him, Homer! Nerd! We've got to save the 8-Bit Simpsons! They remind us of a simpler time! You found another cliché. Am I supposed to be impressed? Blame on. Calabunga, I need help. Calabunga. My turn. God, Dad, no longer think you're dumb as a rock. Big whoop. Want to see me solve a Rubik's cube? I remember when I cared about picking up collectibles. Good times. Oh, they're getting so many points. When's my turn to play? Nice design. Your padding AI is pathetic. Stop being smarter than us. You waste your time while I invent other games with Sim in the title. Sim hot dog, Sim garbage truck, Sim duck farm. Okay. 
Party's over, Craig. Shopping for non-essential collectibles during time to puzzle. Not logical. Does not confuse. <laughs> I remember when I cared about picking up collectibles. Good times. Oh, they're getting so many points! When's my turn to play? Hey, Boo Simpson! We're almost go- Hunter! You Simpsons should stick to TV! Hey, Einstein, you smell like a butt! Keep it together! Think of your money! Concentrate on all your money. Get it? Nobody beats with oh, that's real original. This isn't right. Who put you up to this? What's with those jerks at EA? They hate me, you know. They're all jealous of me. Jealous, I told you. This is like those places where people used to see movies before video piracy was invented. Oh. oh. Hey, thanks for helping us save our 8-bit selves. I had to do so many double jumps, I'm really tired. Do you like donuts too? Sure do. Do you want one? <coughs> Pixely. You're all right, old weird version of me. Attention, Smooth Simpsons. We've been around this complex for a long time and bring a warning. Cowabunga. One day, your video game, too, will be obsolete. No way. The Simpsons game is awesome. Just because every video game up until now has been destroyed and forgotten doesn't mean ours will be. Bart, she's right. I mean, I'm right. We're both right. No video game is safe from an industry that's always chasing the hot new thing. Sure, the Simpsons game is great with its unique, upgradable character abilities and its hilarious self-referential cutscenes. But what about when the Xbox 720 comes out or the PlayStation 4? No one will want to play us then. Damn this god for taking place. Video game making nerds are getting rich and all I can do is die and die and die and die. Each death more painful than the last. <laughs> but what can we do? We're just highly rendered pixels in a universe we can't control. Even as we speak, Springfield is being destroyed by a hackneyed alien invasion premise. Oh, somehow it's not a cliche when it's happening to you. Yeah, we don't even know who's butt to kick. There is one place you can go. The mansion of the creator. He created all of these worlds. Maybe he can end this pointless cycle of destruction. The creator, eh? I'm gonna triple combo punch his fat, nerdy face. Karate! Don't have a cow, man. You still say that, right? I hope so. The only way to get through the gate is to go into each of the new Simpsons games being developed by the creator. Once you're inside each game, you need to find a key card. Only the four key cards will combine to open the gate. Key cards? That is the lamest video game BS I've ever heard. Why aren't we doing something cool, like collecting multicolored shard keys? That would be totally different and awesome! Cowabunga! Let's get to it, video gang. Let's go give this creator a piece of our minds. And save Springfield! Another 
tutorial. Nice, so nice. You're quite skilled. Tony the cereal thing. <laughs> you should be more careful. Now for a tutorial. I'm the tutor, and you are the 2T. of knowledge. Alright, that's enough practice. Just stop it. Now let's see you apply your new skills. You are credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. High resolution environment. I can't get used to these curvy walls. Ooh, a nerd level. What a pretty level. I like the theme of fantasy. Oh, I've got a fantasy. Now that we're finally away from those kids, we can, you know, you and I can get together all afternoon. You're so bad. You're going to ruin this game's tea for teen rating. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Homer. We've got to save those midgets. But Marge, I can't control myself. You're one sexy milf. The word is elf, and no snuggling till we do the right thing. Oh, look, you sexy Marge. You're wrong for each other. <laughs> Uh-oh, I smell burning hobbit. Homer, we have to save the wee ones. <laughs> Eat the food so you can get fat and fight the dragon. I wish my yard was this place. Oh, there's an ugly monster on the bridge. 
where to find the key card. Or you could give us five minutes of privacy. Two would be enough. The object you seek is through this door, but it is sealed by magic. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Actually, we never tried it. To normal. <laughs> you have been vanquished. Uh, my one <laughs> Worst video game cliche ever. Who likes to do bad things? Hey, middle jerks! Eat sword. Hope that doesn't sound too gay. Maybe call the dungeon. But to me, it's a giant maze toilet. <laughs> Kill or be killed? Way to escape, munchkins! Like a wine cellar with no wine! Just... me! Mommy time! I'm gonna eat me a hobbit sandwich! This place is so dank. How come no one ever thinks of light? Was 
show was back in that eating contest level. Or was that real life? Oh, this whole stupid thing is too confusing. Step off, you familiar looking monsters! I see! Bye! What's in here? No one bleeding inside? I just did. My sword will keep getting wet to my butt crack. I'll do anything for this! Here comes a neck punch! Fighting feels good! Wait, what's the time for? Hey, Ellie! Yay! Mmm, mm, like a hand! Academy movie. <laughs> Feel the pointy wrath of Orthol. I'm gonna make your nods into a necklace. <laughs>
The camera's going to overhead POV! Whee! Just like my favorite old school sword and sorcery video game, Dick Dark. My name is Wapo, and I'm here to say I'm gonna kick your ass in every way. Whoa, I'm translucent. Trip me. that game.
I rule the Shire. Listen to me, dudes. Come to Magic Marge. Let's be in the mob. of Lord of the Rings before falling asleep.
Killed your sister. I'm the happiest magic guy in Pretendland. Well, at least we quit smoking. As much as I'm against murdering family members, it was nice to have a level away from the kids. My precious. Feel the sudden urge to sit. I can't think of a better way to honor our brave veterans than by turning their horror into a video game. Listen up, youngsters. We have received intelligence that the Krauts are due to invade the beloved French township of Ville de Saint Capitulons. Now, I don't need to tell you that this town provides the snails that feed the entire French resistance. If Saint Capitulons falls, the resistance will be so hungry for snails, they'll turn around and fight for the bad guys. Oh, I've seen it happen before. You will parachute out of a UB-40 Red Wine Flying Fortress over St. Capitulons, where you'll have to locate me and Private First Class Burns for further instructions. Now, good luck. You boys are my favorite privates, and you know how much I love my privates. My privates mean everything to me. Please, God, don't let anything happen to my privates. I can't look. I'm scared of heights. Tell me when we're about to land. You can look now. <laughs> We are, uh, how you say, finished. Oui, monsieur. May I have another? Ah! Oh, look at me. I'm France. I'm a scared girl. I don't like being bombed and attacked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, knock it off. We're here to protect these cheese-eating surrender monkeys. That means taking down these white flags before they have a chance to kiss German butt. Yes, yes Sergeant Simpson. Simpson. You know, Sarge, while your time-traveling son and grandson take down the flags, we could remove the priceless paintings from the village before the Germans get here. You know, for safekeeping. You look and sound so evil. But since you're American, I know that's not possible. We'll get the paintings. You two take care of the flags. What war is this? Don't they teach you anything in school? It's the Civil War, duh. Let's go secure those paintings. No, oh, I'll secure them all the way to the Swiss bank. I mean, golly, that sounds like a good idea, daddy -o. All these Americans show up, and not one of them is Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Marie Antoinette may have been a spoiled brat, but you cannot argue with her position on cake. My flag now! I remember my first surrender. It was with an older girl from school. We surrendered over and over until I got it right. Wow, you guys sure stocked up on flags. Uh, we'll always have Paris to surrender. Oh! 
Everyone else gets up to the morning bells. What's for a junkie's problem? This is cowardly flag. I do all of our work. This is a pretty boring freak flag. Typical American rudeness. I think I caught a glimpse of Bridget Bardo pushing past me on a train once. True story. I was kicked out of mime school because I didn't know apparently you can't talk. I mean, what's that all about? <laughs> Ooh, is this brush cutting? <laughs> If you are going to beat me, you can at least do it in French! Thanks for surrendering your flag! A woman can surrender just as well as a man. I wonder if these burn as well as the American flag. <laughs> Merci, sucker! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
If this is France, where are all the film festivals? Cesar and Uberland. If they want to fight, turn around. They may not be willing to shoot you. Oh, that's real original. Is it doily?
in my future. Let's do this. Damn if you didn't stop those surrender monkeys from surrendering. I was sure you were both gonna be shipped home in pine boxes. I was already making up nice things to say about you. But now you're off to Africa. Private Burns has secured some priceless French paintings of high-class naked bazooms. We're taking the paintings to a secure storage depot outside Jabba El Hut, Algeria. I'll be riding shotgun with Burns personally on this one. I suspect we'll need the help as the canyons near Jabba are heavily fortified by the enemy. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like an escort mission. Well, deal with it! You found another cliché. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> How do we still end up in Africa? Uh, this sort of thing happens to me all the time when I'm drunk. It's best just to pretend everything's fine. Yeah. Red exploding barrels are so 2006. Okay. Hey, army food! It would not be excellent.
abandon our mission. Permission denied, Private. We have to believe in ourselves to win. As Sun Tzu said in The Art of War, every battle is won before it is ever fought. Great, we won. Congratulations, everyone. See you back in America. Get a hold of yourself, Burns. With an attitude like that, you'll never get anywhere. The final gun has been destroyed. Everyone can let their guard down. Hobo with a case of the papers. Ha ha! can let their guard down. fortune selling them on the black market. I know it's hard to take orders from a man half your age, but that's just how things work out. But the paintings are so I don't like your obsession with these paintings. It's almost as if you care more about the paintings than the mission. Sorry, Burns, that was uncalled for. But no one got into me. I guess it is isn't there for it. The paintings than the mission. Sorry, Burns, that was uncalled for. I don't know what got into me. I guess it's this damn war. <laughs> nice and sport, boys. I'm proud of you. Maybe I won't have that vasectomy. Your traces are safe. Now I can sell them and buy a really nice car. I, I mean, put them in a museum. Listen up, my beloved privates. We had a traitor in our midst. Private Burns has nicked all the French paintings with all those luscious naked sweater melons. So listen up. Burns has moved the paintings to his own private aircraft carrier, the USS Real Crazy. He has the damn thing heavily guarded by his own private cadre of muscular sailors. These men fight for neither God nor country. They fight for love. I'll be leading a sortie of hellfish warplanes and we'll be providing heat from the air. You'll need to stow yourselves aboard the ship at dock. Once out to sea, disable the ship's defenses while we attack from above. Homer, you'll be on demolition duty, and you'll have just enough C4 explosives to complete your objectives. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're never gonna run out of explosives. If you ran out, you'd never finish the damn thing. Any more questions? I don't care. Over and out.
miss me, now you have to kiss me. Dang you treacherous double-crossing Nancy boy! That's weird! Grandma seems to have disappeared! You know what's even weirder? Actually, shipping in a restaurant is considered an insult. Put a Starbucks on a boat this big, but no! Sweet! See four to play with. successfully planted, and I still have all four fingers and toes. My turn! Let's do this. Okay, we get it! You want to kill us! Go back to the present. <laughs> Tagging! Oh, 
wonder if it's edible. Watch that. Again.
Tickles. As mayor of this village, I would like to thank you, brave American soldiers. You hid our cowardice and brought back the pride of our village, our paintings. Dad, can I have some wine? The other kids are doing it. Sorry, boy. You're an American kid. You have to get your booze from an older creep hanging around outside the liquor store. God bless America. Check out all the cool games. Check it off. Watch it. Damn it. Underachiever and proud of it. I can't get used to these curvy walls. Okay, I'm in a stupid Japanese game, but I'm not eating sushi. Unless it's covered with chocolate and there's no sushi in it. Greetings, naughty, naughty earth livers. Welcome to the realm of Mr. Dirt. Isn't it splendid? Knock it off, Millhouse. We know it's you. Uh, sorry, but I'm the king around here, guys, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Unless you want to be my queen, Lisa. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Dirt. But I'm so huge! And I'm the main bad guy in my own video game! Isn't anything good enough for you? Hey, the girl said she's not interested. Beat it, loser! The Japanese make a heck of a DVD player. It's a smushy tag! Couldn't you stick to selling comic books? Uh -uh. Girl power! Sweet! <laughs> Sushi! Mr. Spokero wants free to harrow village girl and eat turnip the size of daikon. Mr. Dirt, trap Mr. Spokero inside stone statue. Defeat Raj men who guard Mr. Spokero, and Mr. Spokero will open gates and aid your quest. Ow! Genetis, you're about to be killed by a man in a diaper. Ooh. What a dishonor. I never liked you! Oh, some North American scum. Oh, that guy needs a week in a bathhouse. me. 
out of my mawashi. I'm afraid to hurt an old man and a little girl. You're a culture vampire! Oof! Oof, I say! Let's go, Lita! Let's go! Where am I? Oh, great. I played a lot of video games. Give him sumo that book. What did we hear? Tourists. Oof. Oof, I say. Oof. Oof. Yeah, Lisa. Smash him like Godzilla in Tokyo. They call me Dirty Sumo because I fight dirty. You're dirtier than dad. That's my daughter! Oh, no one's looking. Tegan! Fat one and Ritter nerd, your 
your quest is to defeat the evil Mr. Dirt, Scourge of the Daylands, and CEO of the most evil Ring Shark Corporation. He seeks to rid forest and field of Gaion energy. Hmm. And how would you describe this evil CEO's attitude toward the old ways and the traditions of your ancestors? Most disrespectful! <laughs> Real original. To defeat Mr. Dirt, you must travel to Colos of our land and win back Sparklemon. Mr. Sparkle will join you with gate opening power and a Sparklemon capturing ball. Hiroshima say Lisa? That's Japanese for welcome. The Lisa means Lisa. My turn. Some volcanic activity, Dad. Seeing it, I mean. Oh man, there's a lot. Nice work, video game guy. Here comes Lisa. Oh, this part is too hot for a wool dress. Thing's supposed to be the last level. Check it out! I'm huge! I didn't know Japan had a lava eat part. Give him sumo that butt kicking I've taught you. My flame is expiring. Final Fantasy Nine. Ha ha. Oh! I really thought you'd be harder. I'm hungry, tired, and I'm in Japan. Okay.
digging. I have a headache and they don't have Tylenol in this. Hey, lame watts. Follow me so I can totally stop your butts. Yummy taste, number one American flavor. <laughs> Don't get too cocky, warriors. You may have defeated one Sparklemon, but you will never defeat another. I mean, maybe you will, but it'll probably take a couple times. But I'm gonna destroy you. Sorry. <laughs> I'll freezer burn you like a pack of chicken breasts. If I lick you, my tongue would stick. Oh. Take him to the mat. <laughs> oh, my equilibrium. Oh, I forgot to bring. How could a cold place be so near a hot place? <laughs> What? Boy, I could go for a nice what? juicy daikon radish right now. What? My turn! What? Drunk, I wouldn't be so cold. Credit to obsessive nerds everywhere. Here's snow business, like ice sumo business. Oh. Getting cold yet, Simpsons? Must be chilly without a shirt on. Patty goodness.
They make fun that is double. Fun fun for Sparkle Sparkle. Don't get cocky, warriors. You may have defeated one Sparklemon, but... Oh, wait, that was the second one? Oh, man. Well, fine. That's it, though. For real. Tagging! My Miyazaki, I will destroy you! Look out! I am attacking now! I have landed on my health bar! Oh my goodness, this will be good! <laughs> Bullies! The nerd will camp someday! Me, 
found another cliché. Am I supposed to be impressed? Guys, do 
Shut up, guys. <laughs> Wonderful magical animal! <laughs> Without a body, eat all day. Never up throw. <laughs> oh man, you beat the third one too? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go cry in the temple of the two moons. So don't follow me. I mean it. Quick, Cad, you need to insert the sparkle mon into the coin slots. Lisa, don't tell me how to use a toilet. Would you tell Chuck Yeager how to fly a jet? <laughs> Mr. Spokuru has risen from his banishment in the underworld. Now I must return to my corporation, where I am mascot for celery flavored soy chip. Selsoy kills the hunger demon, but graciously adopts his children. Selsoy, Selsoy! But first, I will cleanse the world of Mr. Dirt. I guess I should give you this key card now. Ew, no way. I saw you picking your nose with it. Dad, we need the key to save everyone we know. Just take it. <laughs> Dad! Hey, come on, guys. Take it easy. My glasses! that I'm comfortable with. I just don't understand why Bart would want to play this game. What is it with cats and mice? Can't they ever get along? Lisa, you and I are gonna clean up this video game once and for all. Do you think it will still be fun if you can't stomp cat prostitutes and take their money? Of course! What's more fun than playing nice? Bark, bark! 
Why did I think Grand Theft Auto was about the bus driver Otto? <laughs> That's real original. Oh, 
supposed to work together. Please! 
anything stop you? Not fear, not doubt, not a dirty diaper.
Enjoy this game, not just gamers. Uh, Mom, I don't think we've finished yet. Check it. P to the double O, chip I E. I'm the dog who's to the extreme. What's up, my gangsters, pimps, and hoes? My hood is clean and now it's close. A baby girl skank in a blue haired hoochie. Papa cat in the asses. So says Poochie.
crashed on crap! Destroy that non-specific thing! Hey, Papucci! I need an escape skateboard! Sorry, Poochie, but even you aren't extreme enough to resist the power of a stay-at-home mom with too much time on her hands. Yeah! Word to your mother. We did it! We cleaned up the game and therefore made it more fun. This is gonna be the least violent third-person shooter ever. Great work, ladies. We finally made this video game safe for children. I proclaim an end to video game violence. <laughs> Oh. Oh boy. This place is neat, but it could use a woman's touch. You can't get used to these curvy walls. Skateboard power! So we've got four super lame key cards. What now? Oh, that's real original. And how many points did you get? Video games don't have points anymore. No points? How do you know you're doing good in the game? Well, you make progress through the objectives of the game. Like here, we collected the four key cards. Four points? That's a pretty sucky score. I got eight million on a centipede machine and a Pizza Hut once. But four? Pathetic. Look, how many lives did it take you to get these cards? Lives? What do you mean? I mean, I died a lot. And I mean a lot, but it's not like I have limited number of lives. Infinite lives? Then how is a game even hard? What's the point if you can just play forever? The world I grew up in is gone. Look, Cyber Chums, we need to use the keys to get into that mansion and talk to this creator wacko. Our town is being blown up as we speak, so let's do this thing. In these video games, levels get easier as you go along, right? Right? That's right, Dad. They sure do. Let's go. Go get them, guys. Get your initials at the top of that high score screen. Yeah! Bad chance for points. <laughs> This is it, the home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Hey, ahead of you, boy. <laughs> so they won a war. Well, then it's a war they'll get. Violet, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groaning. It's graining. Are you sure? No. Holy macaroni, this guy's loaded! Whoa, this guy's like Richie Rich! Step straight! Here's a really old You die, I Oh, I'm tired of fighting off these villains! You lot talking guys have gone too far! <laughs> for a bad court thingy. Hey! Ah! Oh! Your ties are ugly. My turn! This is the case of awesome lawyers versus good jerks. Better than me. Get off. 
let me breathe in the well. Exquisite. Sweet! Attorneys at law! Help me, American Bar Association. Wow, this makes me a cure all the hands. I saw your elf dead. They weren't great. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, Still haven't paid off your student loan. <laughs> your students are poorly tailored. Oh, even as not as nice as in mine. You guys should try high school. <laughs> Stacks of money means he's wealthy. <laughs> who is the creator? I like to think it's the guy who created us. Right, that's smart. be this rich, I just choose not to be. Our creator's like a thousand foot Godzilla with big boobs and he breathes fire snot. Think again. Your creator is TV's most beloved animation visionary. Seth McFarlane? Ah! Oh, say hello to my little friend. Aw, oh, snap! <laughs> Don't that do that <laughs> Worst video game cliche ever. Prepare to be destroyed by my warriors of the future. This is the dude. <laughs> well, the creator looks like a grad student. <laughs> that weird thing I saw once. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. What you got? 
fight you, Jeff. Oh, man! I broke my iPod. It couldn't be. Oh, well, Barb. I beat you. I'm yours. What to break first? My car acts in contempt. Such a pinch on the tush. Take that, lobster face! This 
mansion is bigger than the inside of Snoopy's doghouse. your own creator. The philosophical implications would make Eugene Ionesco's head spin. Hmm, you make a provocative point, Lisa. And furthermore, kick him! Stop kicking the man who doodled you! It isn't nice! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you for saving me, ma'am. I'm enduring grateful. Mr. Graining, how could you have betrayed us, the fruits of your creative loins, and sold us out to all these awful video games where we endlessly die and lose health and jump and jump and jump? I swear I didn't know they'd be awful, Lisa. If I'd known, I only would have slapped your faces on mugs, t-shirts, candy, lunch boxes, board games, gum, novelty flying discs, and fluffy, fluffy beach towels. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, video game engine self destruct button. So long, suckers. Has prevailed. I have dishonored my ancestors. The Springfield portal is the only one that's holding. Come on, everyone, back to Springfield. Hang on, I'll be right back. Ah, but I love a Sauron. We get. Ah! Crap. Oh, well, I'm glad that's over. What's for dinner, Marge? I hope it's a spaghetti! Here we go! Uh, Homer, we're still under attack. I guess all that's left to do is pray that God saves us. That's it, Mom. We have to talk to God. Lisa, what are you doing? It's not safe out there! I'm gonna use my Buddha hand powers to build a tower to heaven out of Springfield buildings. Then we can get to the only authority who outranks Matt Groening, God. Lisa, everyone knows God only helps the mighty. Awesome. Ooh, 
I hope the stores aren't all closed. Who's there? Stand and unfold yourself. Hey, what's the big idea? Let us through. Uh, Dad, I think that's Shakespeare. You know, the Bard of Avon. Ooh, I love Avon. I pray thee cease thy counsel, which falls into mine ears as profitless as water in a sieve. Enough of the John Grisham fancy talk, Mustachio. Meet Yorick, a fellow of infinite death! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Hey, fat ass, knock him off his cloud. Ah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm gonna go all mixed best on your asses. Get ready to see Shakespeare in hate. You're an iambic jerk. Go! See you in hell, Shakespeare. Alas, Horatio, I kick your butt. A plague on both your asses. I have pitied a fool who fights Will Shakespeare. Here's Midsummer Night's ass kicking. I'll tame your. Here's a soliloquy. You suck. I wish I could have more limericks. All the world's a stage for me to whoop your ass. Only Lisa likes you. My kingdom for a whole. Ah! I write that. Let's do this. Okay. I wonder if I have <laughs> Time for a quick hot rock massage. Nice work, video game guy. God loves you and video games. My turn. Sale in our gift shop.
forget to visit our classic arcade game room. Triple-A <laughs> members get a 15% discount. <laughs> allowed in the hot tubs. two hours in advance, or your credit card will be charged. Okay, I hope the heavenly spa menu is vegan. $15. Here comes March. Finally. God smiles upon those who tip the staff. on the property. shower before entering pool. Fest in the heavenly dining room. Here comes Lisa. My turn. No outside food in heaven. Sandals must 
must be worn at all times in heavenly showers. <laughs> Again. Ugh! 
You are my intellectual hero. Please, please let us pass so we can talk to God. No way, Lisa. You're a bigger butt kisser than Thomas Jefferson. Up here, I'm judge, jury, and executioner. It's time you all learned that heaven can be a hell of a place. My turn. But I'm quick, there was never even war. Except this one. Good fellow, thank you. And all of us have been suspected. Oh, big deal, you invented electricity. Like it's all oh, the world to stay. Wait, that's big deal, sorry. No wonder you never hear about God having a girlfriend. Is someone there? I don't have any money. God, it's the Simpsons here. You've been playing with our lives and we'd like you to stop. Our town, family and friends are all suffering. Yeah, God, you used to be cool. Just because I'm a gamer doesn't mean I'm not cool. Your uneasy looks have brought my disfavor, you bunch of jerks. Hope we don't have to tip the angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
of our town and give us some answers or these save games go in the drink no my save game stop i'm on the final boss fight in oblivion i can't start again from the beginning okay i'll do whatever you want i thought so oh thank you thank you thank you all right uh god uh, god is it it's time for some answers who are we here's the bad news your video game characters. You were designed by computer geeks in cubicles to run around and be controlled by other computer geeks in their bedrooms. We knew that, Birkenstocks. Yeah, explain to us the meaning of life. Okay, those computer geeks who control you. Thing is, they're part of a video game too. You see, the planet Earth is my most immersive, detailed video game yet, and I play it 24 hours a day. It's great. You can get out of your car, have a family. I even put in a complete and wholly consistent fossil record for the nerds. So, the Simpsons game, your game, is really nothing but a mini-game inside my Earth game, if you think about it. So, not only are we not real, we're characters inside a mini-game inside another game. And the people playing us right now are the characters inside the big game that you're playing. Well, you're not inside just any game. The planet Earth got a score of 96 on Meta Metacritic. But why did you let me find the instruction book back in Springfield? Doesn't that mess up your whole system? Oh, totally. That was like a complete accident. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Oh, how do you control the camera in this thing? Is it the L and R button or what? Ah, screw this, I'm getting a beer. Oh, f The Simpsons game? So, yeah. You see? Oops. Oops! Ain't gonna cut it, Mr. Glowing Visage, beautiful beyond all description. You gotta make this right. Relax, relax. God, I feel really, really super bad about all of this. And I seriously want to finish Oblivion so I can get started on something else, so... What do you want? Put Springfield back the way it was. And let us keep our awesome powers. Improve the working conditions of all video game characters. Grant me three wishes. Fine, fine, I'll do all that stuff. Even make games less dangerous for the characters. I guess games have been getting too violent. God, there is one thing. Do you ever wonder if you're a character in a video game? Well, that's... 
That's just dumb. I mean, stop being dumb. Wow! Daddy, someone's looking at me! The seat got well. Now things can get back to normal. Normal is an illusory state. I'm like Robin Hood. I rob from the everybody and give to the me. Okay. Okay. I'm supposed to do community service anyway. Tag in. Hip, whoop. Hip, hip. Whoop. Yip. Whoop. Yip. Joe! 
this axe body spray isn't working like I hoped. <laughs> Very good news. I'm going to be the world's dumbest astronaut. Like yes! I wish I'd bought real estate before the boom. Okay.
Clown, your antics and japes kept us all smiling through the troubles. Thanks a bunch, Skeletor! <laughs> Priceless. Now I understand your real name is Herschel Krastovsky. What sort of name is that? Cornish? Flemish? Walloon? Boy, I wish I had my own fancy latex condo. Nice work, video game guy. Loneliness and cheeseburgers are a deep <laughs> Sideshow Mel Parting is such sweet sorrow. Now scram! at the gym. Hello, Mr. Homer. How low is it hanging? Things in this town is getting screwy. Don't you mean are getting screwy? Don't tell me how to conjugate verbs. <laughs> Uh, 
personal space? And my muscles could use some toning. Sometimes, late at night, I rub my butt on the dino skeleton. Yeah. 
Mexican. I don't buy that my Phyllis pick up the radio, but Mexican radio? Nice work, video game guy. Hope these wristbands hide my chunky wrists. Where is Smithers? My eyeballs haven't been moistened in minutes. No matter what I do, I can't shake this head stubble. I'm like Robin Hood. I rob from the everybody and give to the me. to beat up the shop teacher. That just makes me feel less murderous. I'll steal this thing later. Yeah. 
job today, Mr. Sun. turn. I just ate the kidney and transplanted a hoagie. Uh, another day. For one, salad for one, wine for three. Price. Thank <laughs> you. 
sweet. Certainly doing your job today, Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Stu is as dangerous becoming a one-note guy. If you piled up all my dolls, it would reach the moon. I could laser eye surgery if I had the cojones. Oh, God, I miss Lisa's cat snowball so much. If I have to cover another Eagle Scout ceremony, I'm gonna blow my brains out. <laughs> The wolf's at Old Hill Store. I've never actually made it through the whole Bible. Lose some weight, Homer. <laughs> Gonna make Kid Rock's birthday a national holiday?
Sometimes I don't feel like I'm better than everyone else. May tranquility be yours!
It's white for casual Friday. God, I love justice. This wire I'm wearing itches like I got fleas. Batter it? Are you? Retire in never. Hello, my fellow vegetarian. Sometimes I worry that my husband is nothing but a crude stereotype. <laughs> I think I just ate a kidney and transplanted a hobby. <laughs> Ruined everyone's fun by stopping their bad game. Yay! Here comes March. I gotta get some pipe cleaners. My great craft ideas just keep coming. March is fun. Think of what Shakespeare could have accomplished with the eyes of an eagle. <laughs> Why do I bother wearing clothes under my robes?
to Ann's alimony check gets here soon. I love this briefcase. We've exploited a lot of loopholes <laughs> together. Is it a crime to be illiterate? Sidewalks for regular walking, not for fancy walking. <laughs> yeah, I should have stayed in school. Finally. Well, you 
You're certainly doing your job today, Mr. Sun. Sometimes I wish a cat would eat me. Doesn't anyone confuse me with Selma Blair? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's real original. You found another cliche. Am I supposed to be impressed? Mommy loves you, Maggie. As long as you do that. I'm like Robin Hood. I rob from the everybody and give to the me. Quiet! 
Betsy! I'm in. Feel free to check my references. Okay. I'll steal this thing later. As a little bit. What's your career this week, Marge? Careful, little Maggie. Santa Fe Super Cheap was the greatest passenger liner ever to ride the rails. If I grew a mustache, I'd be dating up a storm.
You're just like Mother, only you control everyone, not just me. I wish I'd bought real estate before the boom. I'm a smash and grab job, minus the grab. Don't be a hero, dude. All swear words. Has anyone seen my teeth? They're slippery, little devil. Okay. Marge's turn. I grew up, I'm gonna be the world's dumbest astronaut. America is not a place for seatbelt wearing cowards. Even though we're not Gentile, he'll get along for a while.
I bring experience and rheumatism to the mob. I get laser eye surgery if I hit the cojones. Happy just to be noticed. Mommy loves you, Maggie. As long as you do that. Disco Stew is in danger of becoming a one-note guy. If you piled up all my dolls, it would reach the moon. Yep. A little Maggie. Current salary should be able to retire in never. me a giant bribe. I mean, well done, Voda. Uh. 
Okie dokie. Stop you! Destroy that thing in an environmentally friendly manner. This is a victory for all the Jewish men everywhere. Another night of soup for one, salad for one, wine for three. Well, you're certainly doing your job today, Mr. Sun. Mommy. 
Mommy loves you, Maggie. Join. It's my wife's weekend with the kid. Uh-huh. Yep. No problem. I used to beat up the shop teacher. Being constructive makes me feel less murder.
Mind if I drop into your mob? They gonna make Kid Rock's birthday a national holiday? Stop you, Not a dirty diaper. Can anyone tell me what Sideshow Mel is? I'll invest in those neck muscle implants. America is not a place for seatbelt wearing cowards. Dios no me ama!
Join. It's my wife's weekend with the kid. Awesome. I thought only college kids joined mobs. Yeah, building things always impresses the ladies. I'd rather be shoplifting. Even though we're not Gentile, we'll get along for a while. Two years seems too long for a cell phone plan. The sea captain. He said my bank at the Z, he was a sub bar. Seems too long for a cell phone plan. <laughs> Is that wet swamp monster I smell? Oh, I own him. was a sub bar. Ha, ha, ha. 
Mamma mia! Am I ever a stereotype? My last name is a risotto. That's a spicy meatball. Es grande. Thank you for bringing Seymour to justice. He needs more discipline. have grandkids. Your kids were both boys. The priest with the runny eye isn't serving soup at the men's shelter.
Maybe I'll invest in those neck muscle implants. <clears throat> I think I bit off the majority of my tongue. It tasted pretty good. Think of what Shakespeare could have accomplished with the eyes of an eagle. Sorry, kid. No autographs. <laughs> And your problems are my concern. Why? We are under attack from the alien folk. We fat boys must stick together. First off, I am not fat. I am stout. And I am not a boy. I am a guy. Hence, comic book guy. I feel terrible here, comic book. Will you accept my apology?
Goose Mob is smelly, but fun. I've always wanted to play mob. Let's do this. Ah, I'm your team. <laughs> Hope I finish up the budget. <laughs> I feel the madness of the crowds! <laughs> Marge can tell me what to do any day! <laughs> Punch everything. Punch it with my fist. Does anyone want a tic tac? Oh, okay, is there okay. anything cooler than ballroom dance? My stomach is full of haggis and beer. I need to go puke in some pain. Mom's rule! That works for regular walking, not for me. Next time, I hope you get invaded by Transformers! I know! That's why I was joking! Duh! Oh, I'm in so much trouble if I ever go to prison. Manjula's at the gym. Thanks to you, my octopus will one day know the boredom of the museum. Finally, I'm accepted. Maybe I should quit. There's just more money in private security. One will truly be free till nerd persecution ends. I wish there were more girls in this mob. Mob mentality. Hey, Lord! <laughs> Little boy. You may touch my kneecap if you like. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Stay away from Rod and <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should quit. There's just more money in private security.
Oh, <laughs> 
Like Robin Hood, I rob from the everybody and give to the me.